saying? Because <laughs> it, it's tough enough, you know, you know, uh, uh, being with a black man. But it's you know, it's you know, it can be a lot easier if you just jump over to the white. You know, I had a you know my U- Ukrainian girlfriend, you know, uh, um, and she got a, a job uh, teaching in Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, and she was. She was humi- She was. She. She didn't want to tell them that she was with a black man, because she's sitting around with all these black women, and they're talking about their black man, their black bucks, and all that stuff like this. And, and I was far from it, you know. So it was just easier for her just not to tell her that, you know, that she she wasn't with a black man. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, it, you know, it. Uh, uh, that would mean that she would have to, you know, uh, us come out from hiding, I guess, so to speak, you know, and um, it created a lot of, you know, a lot of anguish on her, on her job, you know, because she would hear these stories and like this or whatever. And, and like I said, you know, you know, I, you know, I'm not that type of dude. But then on the same token, I, I, I have to say, you know, I was Reverend Al Sharpton's personal photographer. So as his photographer, you know, uh, uh, I was around a lot of black women. And so I didn't tell a lot of black women that I was with a white woman. So, you know, it, uh, it kind of it kind of balanced itself out. But bringing a Filipina to the United States being black, it's, it's got, you know, it's, you know, you know, it's unless unless you're solid, you know, it, but then if you bring a young girl there, and, and and like like Rag Jan Rob says, you know, you had to work in, in order to, you know, she had to work in order to to get that money together to even come back or whatever it is. That, and now you're putting her in the workforce and now and now she's dealing with, you know, with her co-workers and all that stuff on what they have to say. And they're not going to hold their tongue. And, uh, you know, it's you're, you're right. It's going to create a lot of. Uh, a lot of anguish is going to create a lot of, you know, uh, you know, a, a lot of resentment on her part of wanting to do something better for herself just to keep face with her other Filipino friends and what have you, because, you know, it's that's how it is in the United States. That's why a lot of black guys come to the Philippines, because they don't want to deal with that. You know, you know, you know uh, they don't want to deal with the racism and all that stuff that's going on in the United States. They don't want to deal with that. So you're absolutely right. You know, it would be a good topic to talk about at my age. I, I'm not prepared to deal with that drama, you know, of a Filipino, you know, getting with her friends and et cetera like that. And that's what it would be. It'd be drama. You know, uh, what else we have? We have. Um, uh oh um michael meyer day michael meyer day six uh if you're older and she's younger i don't know why i can't see it that way if you're older and she's younger yes but you see that's what you know you know that's the beautiful thing about being in the Philippines. You know, you want a young wife, man. Not just so much a young wife. You want something in your old age that that's beautiful. You want something that, you know, that'll walk around all, walk around the house all day with just a panties on. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, she can say no, but she know that she won't, you know? I mean, you want that. I mean, you know, you want that, you know, that, um, you know, and, you know, and her going to the United States and, 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 and her continuing to dress is, is, as she would here. I mean, you, oh, that, you, you got problems, kid. You know what I'm saying? You know, because your Daisy Dukes are the shit here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you know, and in the United States, for girls wearing the type of stuff that they wear here in the Philippines, you know, it's normally you know you know come and get it. You know, but um, you know, I can't express enough to you listening to me at the sound of my voice that if you got 
if you got a good woman in your heart, then take the chance, you know, take the chance. If that's what you want to do. But, you know, if I was to take Mia to the United States, you know, I'd take her for a visit, you know. You know, I wouldn't take her you know, there to, you know, for a year or two years or something. No, 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 no. I, I couldn't put up with the United States that long, you know. But, um, you know, Calvin, you know, Calvin Sunshine showed us a good dude, you know. Uh, I can't say enough about him, you know, um, on those lines but uh, I think the main focus that I got from him was that you know worrying about having a beautiful girl in the United States um, it just doesn't you know <laughs> I don't care I want a beautiful girl, and I want the world to know it, and I'll show off, you know. You know, like I said, I'll step back and just marvel at how other cats marvel at them, you know. That's that's sexy, you know. Oh, my. I don't know. Well, I hope you enjoy this video. This is Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Winding down, I guess. Uh, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the elder, which pulls someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're the only one to see a vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today with you too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lead singer in Temptation, once said, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king. You know. You know, finding someone who's just right for you is hard in the United States. You know. Finding someone who's just right for you here in the Philippines. Not so hard. <laughs> Just buyer beware, man. You know, I keep it simple. I'll take care of you, you take care of me. And when you feel you can't take care of me the way I want to be taken care of, I'll be the first one to say, yes! <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Peace. Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to our home gym. And right now, let me introduce to you, I am Gerard the Trainer, Black in the Philippines with the Truth, and with... Mike Tell him, tell them. I'm Mike How are you? Tell me how you are. I'm Mike and I'm Okay. I'm Rafael and I am 12 years old. Okay, now once I put these muscles on, on you like this, what are you gonna do? Drink. Huh? Drink. Now, what are you going to do with the muscles? Protect themselves. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Protect themselves. Okay, we'll do the little light workout. So, I'll go first. Okay, come on. Okay, look at me. I'm going to do shoulder shrugs. These are called shoulder shrugs. One, two, face the camera. Yeah. I'll be on the side right here. Ready? Look at me. Ready? Here we go. One, lift your arms. Two, Roll, roll. Three, four. Keep your arms straight down. All right, Chris. Five. Okay. Arms straight down. Don't bend it. Keep it straight down because you want your shoulders to lift the weight. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. One. Right, right, Bill. Two. Three. Keep your arms straight. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, relax. 
Uh, uh, we're gonna do spaghetti. It's a uh, uh, tap right with grade jar, and Raphael. I am um, on grade seven. Grade seven, Michael Chris, how about you? I am on grade four. And what's your favorite subject? English. Okay, I tell you what, he's learned a lot more English than when I first met him. So he's really doing good in English. I really like that. And Raphael, what's your favorite? Science. science. This is the science. He's going to invent. So he's going to be the little inventor. Okay, let's, let's do something else. Okay, watch me. You want to go? One, no, keep your arm at, keep your arm, elbow at your side. Keep your elbow at your side. Okay, just like that going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Keep your elbow at your side, fifteen. Keep your elbows at your side. Okay, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, okay, let's take a break, uh, oh, okay, 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 this is the part of the, the exercise where I do more instructing than the training with them together, okay, so, uh, let me see, okay, now pick up the weight, Okay, watch. One, down. Two, down. Okay, ready to get off the with you. Okay, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, one more, ten, ten. <laughs> and stop because weight's starting to come loose. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna stop right here. You guys freestyle it on your own. So, good workout. Good mini workout. Good mini makeup. Good mini workout. We just got to walk with the dogs. Okay, and I'll be right back. Talk to you later. Peace.